can't allow time for you to speak anyway. I'm having second thoughts about that tie, though. Oh, good, he does understand. So, where to begin? How about welcome to Crane, Poole, and Schmidt? I'm afraid you're all fired. Nothing personal. You seem like fine folk, love the discipline, the 10,000 drummers, but it's not working out, so sorry. Out you go. Single file, please. Move along. Bye-bye. Mr. Shore, we now own the firm. Well, that doesn't much matter, Mr. Lee. Lee, yes, this is America. And in America, it all comes down to who the jury likes better. And I don't think an American jury will side with the communists, do you? Juries typically frown on oppressors, even when they're capitalists. So the idea of China... On what grounds could you possibly prevail? Grounds? Who cares about grounds? Cases always come down to who the jury likes better. Did I not just say this? I think I did. So anyway, meet the group. We're a fine, very likable group. Infectious smile. Smile group. And best of all, bad for you, we're very good. Did you check out our win-loss record? Good for us, bad for you. More importantly, did you know the kinds of cases that we argue week to week, typically preposterous, mostly unwinnable on their face, and yet we win them, whether we have grounds or not? Must be the smiles. Smile group. And here we actually do have grounds for you to summarily schmidt can an entire litigation department, a successful one, no less, because, well, because I guess you don't like us. It seems arbitrary, capricious, actionable, winnable, of all things. It doesn't really seem fair, does it, for us to have both the merits and the smiles. Smile group, what do we do? A wrongful discharge subject to compensatory and punitive damages could be lots and lots of money. Not to mention, think of the fallout here at the firm. You see, we're not just good litigators, we're popular. Again, could be the smiles. And you firing us, well, that would be a terrible, terrible way to introduce yourselves. I mean, uh, Denny Crane, Shirley Schmidt, you must be joking. I, I know how the Chinese loved a kid, like with the uh, tanks in the square, the monks in Tibet, or, or daughters. Uh, but you could have a mass exodus of lawyers long before we we even get to trial, which we will, of course, get to just the same. And when we do, take caution. Here's a little tip. We Americans love to trade on fear. Ask W, ask Dick, ask Rami. Fear sells, fear works. The fear I'll be trading on is China, communist, China, taking our jobs, first over there, then over here, where you once were passive investors, now you want active control. That scares Americans. Active communists, made in China, seeking control. Oh, scary. One last thought. We're giant slayers here. It's what we do, be it the United States government, big pharmaceutical, big tobacco, big oil. It never gets old. And just when it seemed we were fresh out of bigs, along came you, China, the poster child for big. Oh, to parade you in front of an American jury. Well, here's your out. We'll agree not to fire you, not to sue on one condition. We stay and we stay in charge. Do what you want with corporate or tax. But in litigation, we run the show. Shirley Schmidt, Denny Crane, Carl Sack, Jerry Espenson, Katie Lloyd, me. It's our party. Stay out of our way. We'll stay out of yours. That is the deal. Not sure you got the desired effect there, Al.